Hello! Today I've got another fairy tale theme nail art for you. Um, I'm finally getting on with that series. Before December starts and then I'll be doing other stuff again, but yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, for this look I uh, started out with a base coat. And uh, then used a whole lot of acrylic paint, like heaps and heaps of it. Um, yeah. The fairy tale this week is uh, Snow White and apparently that needs a lot of colors. And then for the nails that aren't getting any paint on them, I'm using this simple colors polish and some rhinestones. Specifically the red ones on top. And then lastly I'll also use top coat obviously. Just to seal everything in. And yeah, on the first nail I just started out with the um, three or three, the seven little dwarfs walking. So yeah, I just started out with the background with the trees and all. And um, yeah, personally I use acrylic on my nails. Like it's my natural nail with a layer of acrylic on top of it just to strengthen them. Um, and I use white acrylic to have a good base for the uh, paint, just so it looks nice and bright. However, of course, if you don't use acrylic, you can also just use a base coat, apply some white nail polish, and then paint on that. That's just as easy. That just makes the uh, yeah, just makes the paint pop more. And yeah, what I did is just paint the seven little hoods, and then seven shirts, seven pairs of jeans, and then seven beards. Followed by seven eyes and then 14 little shoes. I just kept them simple because they are very very small after all. Then on the second nail I decided to do the evil queen in her witch form. Like I didn't really... Like I sort of took inspiration from both the um, book of fairy tales that I have and also from the Disney movie of Snow White. Um, and the witch is more of the Disney version really. Because I just think she looks very very creepy like with the black hood and all and yeah. She just looks really, really like a witch. And I pretty much went for the scene of her poisoning the apple. So I did a whole, like, big fire underneath the cooking pot. Which has poison in it. And then she's just standing there holding the apple in it. Which I, of course, also painted. And then for the background, I just mixed some dark brown and uh, black. And just pretty much filled it in. But not touching the actual, like, shapes in front of it. So they stand out more. Then on the last nail, uh, I painted Snow White, obviously. Um, so yeah, on this nail I actually used a different type of acrylic. And um, yeah, it wasn't white, obviously. But it was still pale enough to work for this. I always like to start out with the head, because I didn't want it to be sort of in the center of the nail. So I started out with her hair, then her face, and then moved on to her dress. Um, this one is mostly inspired by the uh, storybook that I have. Um, because I think the blue dress just stands out nicely. And it was very easy to paint, that also. And yeah, she's just holding the apple before taking a bite of it, which she's probably going to regret. And just made a nice big red apple with some green in it, and of course shininess. And a little leaf on top. I really wanted the apple to stand out nicely. I didn't spend all that much time on her hands or anything, like as long as it sort of looks as if she's holding the apple, it's nice enough. And yeah, the face is really the most difficult part. Um, all I can say is really try to have like the thinnest brush you can probably get. Or possibly get, yeah. And for the background I just mixed some random nature colors and mixed them in with white. And then on the nails that don't have any paint on them I just put some top coat. And a little rhinestone. A red one, just sort of like, like the apple. And then once everything had dried it was time for top coat. I used a nice and shiny top coat this time. I don't know, I think when I'm doing something with bright colors, a shiny top coat just looks better than a matte one. And it is, as I always say, very important to use a top coat over acrylic paint, because it washes off in water. And you don't want to spend hours on your nails, probably, to then just, you know, have it be washed off the very first time you wash your hands after that. And yeah, and that's already the final step. And here you can see the full result. I really enjoy doing these nails actually, like especially with the, like, I don't know, it's like very challenging, but it worked out way better than I actually expected it to, to be honest. Um, I do think that with the uh, dwarves I should have pointed, let them point more like straight up, because now it looks as if they're walking like with their heads all tilted backwards, but yeah. And yeah. So uh, like I said at the beginning, I don't know when I'm going to do the next fairy tale nails because Christmas is, you know, coming first. But for now, I hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye!